In this video, I want to go over the official Days of Play 2020 reveal. So the initial information was a little bit inaccurate. It actually won't be kicking off May 25th. Rather, it'll be kicking off a week after on June 3rd. And we have some details on deals directly coming from the PlayStation blog. A lot of them is what we expected. However, there's still a little bit uncertainty as far as what the digital deals are going to be. But I'll take a look at that in this video. Also, we have some details on Summer Game Fest 2020 developer showcases set for June 22nd and July 20th. We also have details on what studios are going to be making their presence known. We have an update on Dark Souls and how that's doing commercially, and if you're interested in the Walking Dead Telltale series to continue on, it looks like at this point they don't have plans for a Season 5. We'll take a look at an official tweet from Skybound Games at the end of this video. First of all, Days of Play, Sony's annual massive PlayStation sale will be kicking off on June 3rd, and it will be persisting until June 17th, so it's not the initial May 25th. I don't know if overseas it is kicking off May 25th. That promotional image was circulating around, and it was even posted on a lot of e-tailers from, let's say, Germany. We had that uh, promotional image posted and it did note May 25th. Over here in North America, we'll be kicking off on June 3rd and it will be lasting until the 17th. As noted by Mary Yee, Vice President of Global Marketing at Sony, we're thrilled to announce that Days of Play is back again this year with awesome deals to celebrate the passionate PlayStation community around the globe and to thank you for all the support. From June 3rd until the 17th, you'll find great deals on a selection of PlayStation 4 and PlayStation VR exclusive games as well as PlayStation Play Plus and PlayStation Now memberships at participating retailers across the US and Canada while supplies last. US customers can also shop Days of Play deals directly from our online store at PlayStation.com. Here is a rundown of the deals that they are just promoting right now. Chances are that there are going to be more deals. Select Gold Wireless headsets will be down to $69.99 versus their regular $100 price point. Platinum Wireless headsets will be down to $130. Neo 2 and MLB The Show 2, uh, 20 I should say, are noted to be $40 down from their regular $60 price point. Predator Hunting Grounds, Death Stranding, and Dreams on the other hand will be down to $29.99. That is a very good deal for Death Stranding and Predator Hunting Grounds. Days Gone Medieval Blood and Truth will be down to $19. $19.99. Everybody's Golf VR will be $14.99. Astrobot Rescue Mission and Farpoint will be $9.99. Farpoint is a pretty good game, a pretty good first-person shooter in VR. For $9.99, I'd recommend it. I actually paid $50 for that game. Maybe not worth that much. Nevertheless, that will be down in $9.99. The Last of Us Remastered Select PlayStation Hits games will be at $9.99. So that really opens the floodgates for a lot of deals. That could be Bloodborne, Ratchet & Clank, Last of Us, Yakuza, I believe, is a uh, PlayStation Hits title. The PlayStation Hits category of games is actually quite vast at this point, Uncharted 4 is also there, Nathan Drake Collection, and so on and so forth, so those will be starting at $9.99, so there might be some that are at $14.99. As far as the subscription services go, 12 months of PlayStation Plus membership will be 30% off, so that's actually a rather weak discount, that means it'll be down to $42. If you've noticed, with these sales, and whenever they put these subscription services on sale directly from Sony, they have incrementally gotten more and more expensive, like, it used to go down to $30 during Black Friday, then they upped it to $35, then they upped it to $40, now you're only seeing it go down to 42 however there are other e-tailers that do drop it down to like 33 35 37 dollars so it's rather advantageous to go that route to get one of those. 12 months of PlayStation now will end up being 30% off, so it regularly goes for $59.99, equivalent to $5 a month. Uh, but with a 30% off discount, it would be down to $42 for a year. I would say that that is pretty good, all things considered. $42 would be like, what, uh, $3 a month, $4 a month, around that range, $3 and change a month. Uh, for PlayStation Now, I would say that's pretty good, given that the PlayStation Now a lineup, while not, definitely not as good as Xbox Game Pass, it is getting considerably better with games like Doom, games like Wolfenstein, games like Control being on the lineup. There are some really good games. Bloodborne, I believe, is there as well. If you don't have the deepest PlayStation library in the world and it's still a little sparse and you want to experience some great games, PlayStation Now is still a pretty good option. Especially with the PlayStation 4 games, you can download the games directly to your PS4, and if you do have a decent enough Wi-Fi connection, uh, playing the PlayStation 3 games through a stream, while it's not perfect, definitely not a bad experience either. You can fall some trophies that way and things of that nature so that's an option as well three months of playstation now again 20 percent off for 20 dollars if you're gonna go the route of signing up for ps now look you're getting 12 months for 42 dollars three months for 20 dollars you guys can do some simple math on what 
route I would go. Nevertheless, the option will be open. The PS Blog also notes what's more, PlayStation Store will be all also offering awesome deals for Blockbuster games along with deals on PS Plus and PS Now from June 3rd to the 17th. Really, it's kind of weird how they don't promote that element of the sale because that's probably what the majority of people are interested in. Look, I, lo I love the physical deals and the physical deals are going to appeal to some people. I remember the PlayStation Store sales would be pretty abundant during days of play, so that's the lineup we really want to see. Also to celebrate, the PlayStation Gear Store is offering a 20% discount off on any full price merchandise using promo code days of play 20 and it cannot be combined with other discounts so that's an option as well the blog post concludes again thank you all for your incredible support this past year here's to another year of epic gaming on playstation so there you have it days of play is coming up a little bit longer of a wait than i had originally anticipated but june 3rd will come around rather quickly so you don't have to be waiting too too long all right moving on from that the summer is going to be huge for game reveals and that's Thanks in part to the Summer Game Fest 2020, developer showcases are set for June 22nd and July 20th. Summer Game Fest 2020 has announced two developer showcases events planned for June 22nd and July 20th, respectively, which will highlight a select group of upcoming indie and AAA video games curated by the Days of Devs team and Jeff Keighley. Each showcase will feature new content, including gameplay, news, and video game musical performances. The June 22nd so showcase will be held at 8 a.m. Pacific Time, 11 a.m. Eastern. The initial group of participating companies can Confirmed for the showcase include Akapura Games, Annapurna Interactive, The Behemoth, Finji, Kowloon Knight, Longhan Electric, MWM Interactive, Panic, Sabotage Studio, Skybound Games, Team 17, That Game Company, Tribute Games, and Us 2 Games. Additional publishers, developers, and games featured will be announced at a later date. The Day of Dev team is also currently accepting a, a submissions from independent developers for inclusion into the showcase. The application is available online. Noting, independent game developers and publishers are a vital part of the industry, and Summer Game Fest said curator Jeff Keighley, I am excited to team up with Day of Devs for the showcase events that will be filled with gameplay and updates from both independent and major publishers. Double Fine Productions and founder and Day of Dev co-founder Tim Schafer added, our goal with Day of Devs has always been to shine a spotlight on our creator-driven games, whether it's one that's already getting some buzz or something completely new and surprising that comes through the submission process. So again, that will be happening June 22nd for the first showcase. The second showcase will be followed up with July 20th. Now, a lot of the other major publishers and developers will have their own events and reveal shows cases and things of that nature. Ubisoft already has one scheduled. I know EA is doing something. I'm sure Activision will be holding something. It seems like Nintendo is going to be a little bit quiet on doing dedicated events, but they are doing a lot of announcements and reveals through social media, as we saw with uh, Paper Mario and the Origami King. And it's pretty much clear that Microsoft is going to be holding events monthly. Sony should be holding their event rather soon, probably in early June. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to keep up with. All right, moving on from that, Dark Souls series shipments and digital sales have topped 27 million. Dark Souls 3 in itself has topped 10 million. Total worldwide shipments and digital sales for the action RPG series Dark Souls have surpassed 27 million units with 10 million units claimed by Dark Souls 3 alone publisher Bandai Namco and developer From Software have announced. The Dark Souls series consists of Dark Souls from 2011, Dark Souls 2 from 2014, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin from 2015, Dark Souls 3 from 2016, and Dark Souls Remastered. It's clear as day to see that Dark Souls is one of the most popular franchises in all of gaming. Honestly, when Demon Souls came out back in 2009, I didn't think Souls would end up exploding to the extent that it has to become one of the most popular games in all of gaming just because I thought it would be a little bit of a learning curve and it wasn't as casual friendly. However, it goes to show if you do offer something a little bit more compelling, a little bit more challenging, it could be all the more engaging to a large array of users. And that's why I think if Sony has the jump and they can get a Demon's Souls remake as a PlayStation 5 exclusive done by Bluepoint Games, that is a huge coup for them. And that is going to be a major launch exclusive if they can make that happen. And it would be a legitimate system seller to a lot of people and would be one of those games that really sway people from one platform to the other. If you announce Demon's Souls as a launch title, it's exclusive to the PS5, that is ridiculously enormous and the gravitas of that really cannot be understated that could be a game changer nevertheless that is something that is still being heavily speculated on we don't know for a fact if it's happening but it would be exciting if it did lastly i do want to note that skybound games uh tweeted out over on twitter thank you to the fans who have reached out in recent days while we wholeheartedly appreciate your enthusiasm for uh, enthusiasm for telltale's the walking dead we currently have no plans for a season five so a lot of people were thinking that 
speculation was rising and maybe Clementine's story would be continuing on in season 5 of The Walking Dead. I don't think that'll be happening. I feel like Walking Dead kind of ended conclusively and if they do want to continue that, uh, I would like something that introduces a new cast of characters and a fresh new storyline because I feel like four seasons of a game that is episodic like this, four seasons is a lot and I think we got our fix of it. Uh, was it great? Absolutely. It was a very emotional journey. I still remember to this day playing the first Walking Dead, the season one, and it was fantastic and the subsequent seasons were pretty good as well. New Frontier was a little bit questionable, but overall I would say in its entirety it was a rather good experience. As far as Telltale goes and Skybound Games, hopefully they continue to develop more compelling narrative-driven experiences, but as far as The Walking Dead goes, at least in this iteration, I don't think we'll be seeing a Season 5. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, as far as Days of Play goes, that'll be kicking off on June 3rd until the 17th. A lot of great deals will be available as a part of that. That PlayStation Now deal, 40 to, uh, $42 for a year. That's going to be pretty good. Summer Game Fest 2020 developer showcase is set for June 22nd and July 20th. Dark Souls is doing incredibly well from a sales standpoint with the entire series topping 20 7 million Dark Souls 3 in itself tops 10 million that is ridiculous and spot Skybound Games says that currently there are no plans for Walking Dead season 5 that's going to conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.